Hey, Shad here with Speed Axe. Today we're gonna uncrate the Gringo S. Before we jump in and break down that Biltwell Gringo S in front of me, go ahead and hit subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews on the web. We appreciate that. Let's jump in and look at this beautiful helmet here. So, Biltwell is known for making quality vintage style gear. This Gringo S is that vintage throwback. Uh, it's similar to the Gringo, except for that it does have a more modern face shield attached to it here. So when you think of Biltwell, think vintage style, but modern construction. This helmet is DOT certified and ECE 2205, which is the European standard. It's a bump above DOT in our opinion. It's a little bit different testing over there. And so you are getting modern safety, but that classic look. So. It's a polycarbonate shell, price points 220 to 249 at the time of making this video in 2022. Disclaimer, prices are going up as we all know, so if you watch this at a later date, don't get mad at me. Um, so pretty fair pricing for a quality piece here. Two, um, the, sh the sizing is extra small through 2XL. So if you got a big head, you're a 3X or above, you're out of the picture here. Uh, but the fit is true to size. Go buy that built well sizing chart at speedaxe.com. And remember, number one reason to buy from Speed Addicts, your next helmet from Speed Addicts, not only will you ride faster and look cooler, but we cover free return shipping here. So if it doesn't work out, you decide you don't want it, doesn't fit as long as it's new in the original packaging, we'll get you a free return label. So let's jump in and talk more about this helmet. Uh, this color is the Storm Gray. So this is a gloss finish but a solid color. Uh, one thing Biltwell does really well is their metallic colors. Head over to the site and check out all the different flavors. They're always coming out with new ones. So whatever flavor you're after, I'm sure they've got something that'll keep you looking fresh. Um, the face shield. So simple attachment here. We've got a Phillips head screwdriver to take this on and off. It comes with the clear in the box. If you want something different, you can mix it up and buy maybe a smoke, whatever you want. Or if you want to run it without this, you are welcome to do so. You could remove this and run it with goggles or sunnies, uh, depending on what sort of weather you're facing or what sort of ride you want to go on. It attaches over here on the left side. So you're just going to pop that up, that snap, and then raise it up. It does have strong, very strong detents. They call that out, uh, Biltwell does, because this helmet doesn't have extra ventilation. You're not getting intake or exhaust ports. So if you get toasty in here, you are welcome to ride with that cracked and it will stay put up to you know reasonable speeds here. So you got one, two, three, and a fourth position on this, this pivot kit for the face shield. Um, I will say that you know it is a vintage helmet, so as far as that face shield seal, it doesn't make a real positive seal. You are gonna get some air when it's even in that fully locked position. So this is a cruising helmet, right? This is not a a racing helmet. This is about the vibe. Um, so the face shield, again, pretty robust and multiple positions. We like that. Otherwise, there's not much else to say about the outside of this helmet. Classic spherical design. You got your DOT EC stickers on the back and uh, it does look good. Let's flip this over and see what else we got going on here. In the box, you are going to get a manual and this super cool Biltwell helmet sock because you need one of those. Okay. Inside, let's talk about the comfort. This thing is really a nice place to be, and that is because their uh, the removable cheek pads and headliner are made out of a fleece lycra material. Really nice. It's going to be wicking and keep you cool when it's hot. If it's cool, it's going to keep you warm. So it's do doing double duty there, and it's also got a nice quilted look. You'll see that when I pull it out. Uh, standard D-ring closure, which is what we'd expect on a helmet like this. And they also have a molded urethane chin bar pad in here that's got a cool quilted design. And that's meant to actually help you out in an accident if you hit the front chin bar of this. I've seen other vintage helmets um, where the chin bar doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. Remember, the majority of impacts in a motorcycle accident are in the face area. So it's nice that they put some protection in there for your mug should you test this guy. Uh, we're gonna open this up and show you. They've got this cool snap um here on the uh on the chin bar strappy they've got this snap receiver that you can move into the location that suits you and you can snap that up so it doesn't fly around it's kind of an interesting way to do it it's the first first helmet i've seen like that okay let's undo this guy the next thing that's pretty nifty considering this is a vintage helmet 
is that they do uh, have uh, cheek, sorry, speaker pockets behind the cheek pads. So you, this is comm system compatible. You can run whatever unit you have or want to, adhesive, you can even fit a clamp on here if you want, depending on how you want to mount that computer up here on the left side. But let's just show you your speaker pockets in there. You're good to go for your comm unit. Other thing that's just kind of nice is that every part of this is finished. You can see it's not exposed or just like raw EPS material. They finished every part of this thing and it just uh, it looks quality as you kind of take it apart. I'm going to unsnap this liner so you can see it is a nice quilted material and comes out really easy. So if you kind of wash this guy, I usually recommend hand washing this, let it air dry so you don't beat it up in the washing machine. But you can see that quilt. It's kind of a cool retro racing throwback deal. The EPS foam in here that absorbs energy and impact is a three-piece unit. You also notice those crumple zones. Those do double duty, actually let some airflow through there, but they also absorb energy in case of an impact. Built well, uh, the Gringo specifically is our top selling vintage helmet. Has been for a long time. There's some other guys that have come into the scene when it comes to the vintage stuff, but Built Well has been doing a long time. They do it right. Got a two year warranty. You're going to look swag. Go over to spx.com, pick up a Gringo S. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.